Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for coming to this video, making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is Monday, April 1st. I did put up an April Fool's video. I just, you know, it's the facetious person in me. I thought I have a little fun. So if you saw that video, got a little scared. Now, I know some people won't get scared because they know me too well. But if you don't know me, you might have gotten scared. Have I ever come to that point where I wanted to quit? I honestly have tinkered with the idea but never far enough to actually do anything what i would probably do is just maybe not do weight loss content but just do all like i don't know fun stuff but that's just a fool's joke but we're here to talk about weight watchers the weekly topic and my way in well before we get into all that did you see the email that came out this weekend about the um some people use the weight watchers on their laptop i'm one of the ones that do i load my recipes there because it's honestly easier I, my, I should say to a point because I don't have the scanner, but it's easier to see. Well, they are changing weightwatchers.com. If you do all your like tracking and stuff from your like PC, your laptop, you won't be able to do that anymore. They want you to get the app. Now, I understand that, but not everybody has a smartphone. There are people out there that just have a phone that makes calls. Because that's all they need it for. They don't. Some people don't want all these bells and whistles where you can do all the just, and they're allowed not to have that. So I feel like they're 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 saying to those people, we don't give a crap about you if you, you know. So what your WeightWatchers.com on the computer will only be good for pretty much nothing. Maybe you can look at a recipe, can't add one, and maybe you can you can go on the connect. Well, see not connect you can go on the virtual you know why because it's because most laptops or pcs have camera functions so yeah it's good to do a zoom that way they're not doing us any favor i kind of thought this was a really big slap in the face to people you know like i said i have an app but i still use my pc for a lot of things so i feel like that's just another nail in the coffin for us people who've been here a while it says, what still will be available on the website? Many WW features will still be available on the website after April. It's at the end of April, so you have the whole month. They give you 30 days or so, sweet. It includes recipes, the workshop finder, 24-7 support, invite a friend, and your WW account settings, which they said not much. Um, everything is on the app. Now, it always was on the app, so it's not like the app's changing. The app's just still the same. Says, why are we moving? Why are we we removing tracking and connect from my day to day to web on the website? With more members using the WW app, fewer members have been using Weight Watchers on the website. With these changes, let us deliver more impactful updates and better support. I'm quite sure, I believe that. Now they've always had issues with updates. You know, I don't, I don't think that's going to impact that. But who am I? I'm a nobody, and I always say that. But I just feel like for people that use the website, I feel like it was like another nail in my coffin. And this one says, I only use the WW website. What can I do now? Everything that you can do on the website and more is available through the WW app, which is downloaded to either the App Store, ISO, Google Play. So it's basically saying, get your butt on the app. Again, people don't all have a smartphone. And it, I mean, like, like she said, and they entice you with, you will have the, the scanner available to you. Maybe some people don't want the scanner. I will say, I do, I do miss having that little pocket calculator. I do. Because that's when we only have to put in four things. Quite honestly, what I want to be putting in all the things I've put into in a calculator, probably not. But maybe the next update. Let's face it. There's going to be an update. There always is. Now, where are they going to change it to? Right now, everything goes into the thing. Now, I don't know if everything's counted everything goes in maybe that's like a like a, a thing that we don't know what's actually being counted for a point we don't know i can't imagine sodium having an effect but hey who am i like i say i'm a nobody but i'm curious to the next you know change we'll still be putting all the information in if that's the case then we don't know what's calculating our point do we i've all thought about that but you know rest in peace ww website I used it. I use it now. Right now, I have the meeting topic up, so I'm just assuming that that will still be there. But hey, who am I? Okay, weigh in. How'd you do this week, D? Well, the week was okay. wasn't stellar. The last few weeks have been stellar. This week was just okay. Um, a little bit more snacking and just a little bit more, I guess, being busy with the holiday and stuff. Just not really giving my full effort. 
So that could be an issue. Um, now I got weighed on Saturday, which I tell you I get weighed Saturdays now, but I just posted today. It's just easier that way for me. Even though I was trying to have a better weekend with weighing weight on Mondays, well, it didn't work out that way. And it was stressing me out. I think we've had that conversation. So I do get weighed every Saturday. I just posted today. So thank goodness, because yesterday, my lovelies, yeah, I didn't do bad food wise. My dinner plate was fantastic. It was the picking at lunch. It was the desserts got me. They did. I had a bitter, I'll tell you why. <laughs> the cheesecake we got from Junior's was fantastic. Peck's cheesecake I've ever eaten. It was a cookies and cream cheesecake. Even Timmy goes, Timmy goes, Mom, I'm not a cheesecake fan, but this was really good. <sighs> we go to a Junior's cheesecake outlet. Junior's is in New York. We have a, an outlet. They basically, I guess, their factories over here in New Jersey. So we go up there and they're dirt cheap. Oh, and they're so good. Some of them are seconds, like you might have a crack or some kind of thing is smudged. But hey, you know what? For like three and four dollars, I don't care. So yes, this hasn't been in our freezer since Christmas. We were supposed to have it at Christmas. We never did. And man, was it good. But I will sit here as God is my witness. And so are you. I am not having any more this week. There's plenty left. But no. But I did indulge a little too much. But you know what? I'm not going to kick myself in the pain. You know, I'm not going to sit there and punish myself and starve myself today. And go do a 30-minute run routine or something because I eat too much. And now it's holiday. Sometimes we do. Like I said, I was good with my food. The snacking could have been better. And the desserts could have been better. So I look at the positives that I did. And I want you to do that. Like if you had a really bad day yesterday, what did you do right? Like instead of always looking at what we do wrong, what did I do right? My dinner plate was awesome. So that I did right. So, and my breakfast was decent because I wanted the Kringle. I'm going to be honest, I wanted the Kringle. So that's what I had. That was my breakfast, the Kringle. It was 13 points of Kringle, which this Kringle was higher in point than the other Kringle. I didn't have a bigger piece. Oh, no. So, I don't know if I filmed it. I didn't film a lot yesterday. And not for anything. I just was really, really busy. I don't I remember if I filmed it. I don't know. I don't remember filming it. I had a, a regular piece of Kringle and I had a, a banana and strawberries. That was my breakfast. That could have been why lunch and I was a little bit picky. I had to think about that. You know, like after I'm making, yes, you wanted the Kringle, but you probably weren't satisfied because it wasn't breakfast. It was dessert. But I wanted it. So, um, learn from that. Dessert is not what you eat for breakfast. You got to eat regular stuff because that's probably why I picked all afternoon. And I wasn't picking on anything bad. I was picking on um, uh, Skinny Pop. Steve had Skinny Pop popcorn. That was cheddar. So, I was picking on that. And um, cheese. Cheese. So, what did I do right? I had a great dinner. I did. What did I do wrong? The desserts, the cheese, the breakfast. You know, but today is a new day. How did you do get weighed, D? I was down point two. So I'm very proud of myself. So I want to have another loss this week. So, I mean, I got, I got, if not have a gain. So we, at least we want to, I'm going to work on saying the same this week. Because if yesterday, I mean, one day is not going to put that much weight on somebody. Unless you're really strapped on the feedback. And technically, I really didn't. But, you know, when you're in this zone, you feel like every little thing counts. And that's, for me, every little thing does count. So I know that. And I've said that in a few videos ago. And somebody actually liked what I said. I said, at this point, when you don't have much weight to lose, every point, every calorie counts. And it does. So I may, you know, but you know what? I'm just going to go through the week not thinking about Saturday. I'm just going to do what I do. And that's all you can do. And I did um, download a new app, an exercise app. Um, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I was doing this, I had like, like four free days. I can't remember, I can't even remember what it's called. Um, but if you want me to talk about it, I will in another video. Um, and I quibbled it because it was like, oh my God, it's $30 or $35 a month, a year. I'm like, $35 a year really isn't anything. And I, I actually did it for four days. And I'm like, you actually did it and you actually liked it. So why not invest? So I went back in. And it was, the money was higher. I'm like, wait, I thought that was 35. So I was kind of like, I was something popped in. If you sign up now, you'll get it for $35. I'm like, they know how to get you. They do. So I signed up. So I have a year. And what I did is on my phone, I put a reminder for next year. If I don't want it anymore to 
cancel it because if you cancel like i think a few weeks before it renews and you don't get charged not that they wouldn't take it off because apple's usually really good i've had them take stuff off but i don't want to have to get into that so i do have a reminder on my phone when it renews and you should that's a really good tip if you have like like i track bites that renews and you don't want to renew it put a reminder on because you will get charged all right timmy did not get weighed that was his choice he's really he goes you know i feel bloated i said told you it catches up real fast so He'll be back to school. He'll see some till Sunday. So I said, just get back on track. That's all. So let's get to the WW topic at hand. 13 simple swaps to save you points. I feel like I just did this because swaps are my thing. And I know that. So I feel like I've just did this. I know I just did. This. I should like look this up because I know recently I just did this. Think about recipes you love or ones you've planned to whip up this week. What if you could make some of the points just poof and disappear? This guide makes it happen. Try this. The WW Guide to Ingredient Swaps. You're going to want to screenshot this. Now, before we get into what their swaps is, I have swaps that I do and I have swaps that I won't do because sometimes this, you know, it's not worth it to me. But, you know, you have to decide what's worth it to you. You know, that's the thing. Like, if you like it and it doesn't bother you, then eat it. But if it's something like, I'm going to swap it to lower points, but I really don't like it, you can't get into that mentality because that's a problem with a lot of people. They want the points lower. They want to lose weight fast. So they're going to sit there and substitute things that they really don't like. Let me tell you something. You can't maintain that. And when you go back to eating the other thing, you don't want to do that. So you have to like your swap. Let's put it up before we read this. All right. If a recipe calls for types of meat or poultry with a more fat, like skirt steak, ground beef, or chicken thighs. There's nothing wrong with chicken thighs. Can we say that? I wouldn't substitute chicken thighs because... It's chicken. Yes, there's a little bit more fat. I'm not going to lie. I'd say that there isn't. It's not zero points, but you know what? It's still chicken. So don't get too hepped up on the thighs. Because let me tell you something. Chicken thighs are the bomb. Try leaner cuts like trip, try tip sterling, 95% lean ground beef or skinless chicken breast. I'm going to sit there and tell you, I don't like 95% lean ground beef. I don't. I don't use it. There's no flavor in it. There's no flavor in it. There just isn't. Favors in the fat. Can we say it together? The favors and flavors in the fat. Now, I'm not sitting there to tell you to have a 75. I say I would go no, you know, maybe 85. 85, 15 is probably the lowest I'll go, but I've had a 93. It's not my favorite either. I tend to go for an 85. Now, I will tell you, when I use that, I drain it. You know, I don't have it sitting in there. Once it's drained, I don't have it sitting there. I don't serve it with that fat in there. And I don't rinse it. Mm, repeat after we don't rinse our meat. That's the flavor. Drain it is great. You can drain it in a strainer if you want. Just don't put that spigot on. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, again, it just, if, and if you're not liking it, what's the point of swapping it? B.S. Yes, enjoy seafood, shrimp, and tuna steaks. And oh my God, tuna steaks. I haven't had one in a while. They're fantastic. But here's the funny thing. They didn't say salmon. Why? Because salmon is very high in fat. Yes, it's a zero point fish, but if you ever see the, when you cook a piece of salmon, look at that frying pan. There's some oil. Yes, it is good oil. I'm not going to say it's not, but it's still fat. You can save up to five points per serving. Like I said, I swap out turkey, ground chicken for things, but certain things you got to have meat. I mean, and there's no nothing wrong with having it once in a while. If you do the swaps out for like, say, 80% of the time and then 20 that's you know there's nothing wrong with that but if you enjoy things just don't have them as often like if you want a beef burger have one every so often and in between have the chicken or the turkey burger but I will tell you between you and me if you're going to have a chicken or a turkey burger season it like chicken and turkey so it has those seasonings like don't try to make it taste like a beef burger because honestly it doesn't but it's still decent yes I always say try the seasonings Somebody here, I don't remember who it was, recommended the Dr. Prager's. I think they're a plant-based burgers, I think. You get them at the regular grocery store in the freezer section. Well, I finally got a pack, and I finally had them last week. Let me tell you something. Those suckers were delicious. Peter and I split the box, and he, we both agreed. We had the Fiesta. I was really impressed how good they are. So whoever mentioned that, thank you. I mean, yes, they were like $3 a burger, but they were good. Coconut oil or butter. Now, 
people are raving about coconut oil. Honestly, I've not been on that bandwagon yet. I don't know. I can't give my opinion on coconut oil. I know it looks like a solid. So to me, if it looks like a solid, it's not something I choose to go after. But people say it's really good. I can't attest to that. Um, olive or canola oil. Now, I love all, that's what I use. I use olive oil. I use avocado oil as well. Um, Steve has got, got us on an avocado oil kick for like the past five, six years. He just thinks it's good for you. So we've been using it. I don't mind it. I don't know much about canola oil. I don't think it's, I mean, you're going to hear people say, oh my God, canola oil. Now there's this one girl I watch on Instagram. I can't think of what, what her channel is off the top of my head. She's like a, she's a nutrition scientist. She's a, basically has a science, she has a science degree, which is like, kind of like that. And she says, if you're having something in moderation, like canola oil, it's not bad. If you're not, if you're like cooking things and constantly in canola oil, well, yeah, maybe. But if you're having it on a salad, it's not that bad. So I'm not here to judge anybody's choices. Um, up to four points per ta tablespoon. That's a lot. Now, honestly, people love the taste of butter. We grew up, because my parents didn't have any money, we did not grow up eating butter. We grew up eating margarine. It's, so butter is not something I gravitate towards. I don't gravitate towards margarine either, but uh, we buy light butter here. And yes, I know it has water and it's not, but it still has that little tang of butter flavor that's enough for me. Again, if, you, if it satisfies you, see, there's the thing. Because if you have real butter, you're not gonna be having that much. So at this point, would you rather have a little, people say, I'd rather have a little bit of, of real butter than a lot of, well, can you taste a little bit? See, there's my problem. I can't really taste it. So what's the point of having a quarter teaspoon of something when I can have a full teaspoon and actually taste it? But that's me. You do you, boo, and that's how things work. Full fat milk or cheese? Ah, oh, the fat-free cheese dilemma. Fat-free or reduced fat? Do not eat fat-free cheese. I have, I don't know. I have not found a fat free, other than Velveeta shreds. And I don't know if that's fat free, but I have not found a fat free cheese. That's taste any good. Now, I will say the fat free feta is delicious. So yes, it's the only fat free cheese I will eat. And I do eat fat free regatta. I don't mind fat. I don't mind fat free cottage cheese. The only problem with fat free cottage cheese is the sodium level to make it taste good. So I tend to go to one person cottage cheese, but I'm willing to count that. If you want to use it as a zero point food and you want that fat free cottage cheese, then have it. And I'm like saying, you have to like the swaps that you do, but don't do the swaps because they lower the points. Do it because you actually like them. Like for me, I don't like light salad dressing. Some salad, I don't like fat free. Light depending on what it is. I hate, I hate the skinny girl salad dressings. I think they taste, they're just terrible. I don't like the, what was the other one? Some kind of farms, Walden Farms. That is just I don't know. If you like Weldon Farms, I don't know. I, I just think it, I, I tend to make my own olive oil. I like, tend to make vinaigrettes. You could do like olive oil and a little mustard and a little bit of um, little vinegar in there. I love all kinds of vinegars. Champagne vinegar. I mean, there's um, tarragon vinegar. I love I am, yeah, as much as I have spices, I got vinegar, flavored vinegars up the wazoo. Balsamics up the wazoo. Um, that's how I tend to like food, but and you, with those um, cheeses, you can set up the four points per serving. But you gotta like it. And fat-free cheese melts like crap. And then I hear the people, well, spray it with Pam spray. Yeah, no, not doing that. Not doing that. Now, if you put the fat-free in something, maybe you can get away with it. But again, I'm not sitting there trying to justify fat-free cheese by doing that. So again, you have to like what you eat. Sugar, granulated stevia, gra grated apples, or mashed bananas. Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. There's no reason to be having real sugar, honestly. We, with the beautiful stevias that I have out there, Trevia, it's, you know, it's fantastic. You can save up to four points per tablespoon. And let me tell you something. It, sugar is addictive, and those things help my sugar addiction. I will tell you, I don't crave sugar because I don't have it anymore. I haven't had real sugar I mean, you have it occasionally because you're just, it just happens. But for the, for the most part, I don't have it and I don't crave it. And it, it literally was, you know, eye opening to not crave sugar and sweets all the time, but that's a choice. If you don't want to, you know, you do you boo. That's how we have to do things. Oil and baked goods, unsweetened applesauce. You save up to five points per tablespoon. I do for the most part use unsweetened applesauce and baked goods, but sometimes you need a little fat depends on the recipe so you just have to like when you're making waffles to get that nice you need a little oil in there you 
don't need a whole lot. But yes, there's just something about oil in a recipe that you have to watch. So for the most part, you can do the applesauce thing. Heavy cream or sour cream, canned pumpkin or fat-free Greek yogurt, absolutely. I can't tell you the last time I've had sour cream. And here's the fun fact. Back before I was on WW, we always used um, non-fat Greek yogurt in place of sour cream. My boys don't know the difference. And honestly, because I think sometimes when we know it, we say, oh, I don't like it. If you were blindfolded, would you really be able to taste the difference? I say no, but that's just me. But yes, um, but certain things like, I'm gonna say for heavy cream, I would probably use milk in, in some recipes and hope for the best. <laughs> I would, um, but I don't know if I would use yogurt in place of heavy cream all the time. If it's homemade yogurt, it doesn't have that um, with sour taste. Yogurt does. It's a, it's a yogurt thing. But I will say the homemade doesn't have that. So if you've never made homemade yogurt, you really should. It's fe In fact, that's why Roy, recipes of Roy, and we do it, we make cream cheese out of it. Because the homemade yogurt doesn't have that sourness and absolutely tastes like cream cheese. It really does. Peanut butter. Oh, yeah. My favorite. Powder peanut butter. Absolutely stinking lutely. Yes. Up to five points per tablespoon. And actually, on the, on the heavy cream, you save up to 11 points per quarter cup. That's significant if you're making a small recipe. But, um, yes. Um, honestly, the powder peanut butter. Now, if you don't like powder peanut butter, I I've, I've have a whole video on powder peanut butter and what I do to reconstitute it because there's many different ways. Yes, the directions say water, but I've used milk. I've used syrups. I've used skinny syrups. I've used anything. You can use coffee. If you love coffee, if you're a coffee fiend, put some coffee in your powdered peanut butter. Make coffee flavor peanut butter. And if you don't add as much liquid, it's thicker. If you add more liquid, it's more like a drizzle. It's fin it is made from peanuts. So yes, it is a good substitute. The fat isn't in there. Now, if you need the fat for a recipe, like there are certain recipes that you need fat in there and they put peanut butter in. Ew might not want to do it there but for the most part if you're just enjoying a peanut butter sandwich powder peanut butter is where it's at if you get the flavored ones shut up it's so good or if you use the skinny syrups like i have a maple bourbon pecan skinny syrup and then i can make maple bourbon pecan peanut butter it's fantastic dip your carrots carrots dip your apples dip your bananas yes please it is fantastic so like i said that you can save five points per two tablespoons. And it's fantastic. Peter loves it. We all, I've made I've made them sandwiches and used it and they didn't know the difference. Don't tell them. <laughs> Let's dive a little deeper. How to save even more points. Cut down on oils or other fats. Grill, broil, or steam food instead of frying or sauteing. Brush a little oil directly onto the food or use a cooking spray or oil spritzer. I, I don't like the aerosol sprays anymore. I've been using the non-aerosol sprays and I have a, a uh, olive oil sprayer that looks like Windex. <laughs> I have that linked in my Amazon store. If I remember to link it, I will because it's fantastic. You put any kind of oil you want in there and you spray it. It's phenomenal. Use reduced salt stock to prevent stir fry vegetables from sticking. I always use reduced, I like to control my salt in, in certain things. So I try to get the reduced salt in anything like the canned tomatoes, stocks, because it does help. Even butter, If you, I tend to get unsalted butter if I buy butter because I want to put the salt in. Because sometimes, even though it says you have a salted butter, you put salt in there, it could be a little bit too much. Stretch a serving, chop nuts or chips into smaller pieces. Yes, opt for grated cheese instead of sliced or cube covers more surface when it's smaller look for brands with less fat or no added sugar to use in ww add to compare remember to like your food if you don't like to use those things then don't use them but if you do they're fine they're not gonna hurt anybody they're not you know people are like oh my god you can't eat that stuff let me talk no food is inherently bad because if food was inherently bad Prisons would be cleared out because we all know the prisoners eat crap and there'd be no homeless people because homeless people eat crap. So if food would kill us or, or you know, make us sick, we'd have no homeless and the jails would be cleared out. And they're not. Because why? Because food is not the problem. We want to blame things. And the, and the first thing to blame is the food I'm eating is causing me to be heavy. Uh, maybe it's the amount of food I'm eating that's causing me to be heavy, not what I'm eating. 
Let's make one thing clear. You should 100% feel okay making and enjoying these recipes as is, whether it's grandma's favorite pasta or go-to weeknight meal from scratch brownies. This journey isn't about turning every favorite into a low point knockoff. Correct. Your budget allows for flexibility into whatever you prepare and eat. That's why you have weekly points. So if you're having a special dinner, make it the way it's supposed to be made. Don't sit there and make everything WW-fied. Doesn't have to be. Now, if you have a problem with it being around, mm, freeze it. I've eaten things frozen. I can't say freeze it. Send it home with somebody. Get it out of the house. But yes, certain things you should not mess with. That's like cardinal law. That's cardinal rule. We don't mess with mother's recipes all the time. Certain occasions you can, but for certain things, don't. But that's why point saving swaps and recipes tweak are helpful. They may be times where you want to have extra freedom to eat your favorites or something special and still stay on track. You might even prefer the lower point versions to find the swaps become the norm. This is true. Sometimes swapping out certain things, like I said, does it hit the note? And if it's satisfying, and that's what you, if you're not satisfied, there's the problem. You want satisfaction. If that swap brings you satisfaction, that's all you need. Planning ahead to fit in the food you love and want to eat into your life either through lower point cooking or baking or budgeting for the higher point versions make this journey more livable and put you in the better position for success. Yeah, you have to like the swaps. And I feel like we just did this topic, but you do. And I think I said that. You have to like what you're eating. Don't eat it because it's low in point. Eat it because you like it. I love everything I eat. I do. I don't make anything that I don't like. I'm going to go, oh, got to eat this. Oh, I'm gonna get down. It's my dinner now. If I've, there's many a thing I've made, like say for breakfast, I'm trying to, you know, something new and I make something and I hate it. I literally throw it in the trash. I'm not eating that. I'm like, no, because it's, it's not, I'm not enjoying it. And I, I'm going to be looking f because if you're not enjoying something, you're going to be looking for something to enjoy and you're going to go for something else. So you have to sit there and it has to hit the note of what you want. So the swap has to work. Not all swaps work for everyone. We're all different. They all don't work. So get the swap that works for you that you can live with and you enjoy. And that is it for me. I hope you enjoy this week's WW information, my weigh-in and everything that went on this week. It's a little bit longer than I wanted to, but we talked about the changes. So and that is it for me. If you enjoyed this video, let me know with a big old thumbs up. Let me know how your week went. I know it was a holiday weekend. If you got weight today, congratulations. I give you a lot of credit. Honestly, if you want to skip today's weigh-in, I don't think there's anything wrong with skipping a weigh-in after a holiday there's no shame in that there's no like I'm a, I'm a loser I, no because sometimes you can't see it and sometimes it's not a true way in right after a holiday because we're eating higher you know sodium things we don't normally eat and yeah they affect our body in a day or so so honestly if you want to take a knee I'll, I'll back you up I don't think there's anything wrong with it I've done it I've taken a knee and WW encourages it I've been doing in-person meeting and I said if I take a non one they're like absolutely they allowed more than you'd think so there's nothing wrong with that. So if you are new here, welcome. If you've not yet hit that subscribe button, like what you see on this channel, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at Dish with D for realistic weight loss conversation. So we talk truth here. We talk the good, the bad, the ugly, the good swaps, the bad swaps. You know, we're all different. We're all different. How we get there is differently, but we're all getting to the same point. So how you get there is your journey. And that's why it's called a journey. So let me know. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I will dish with you another day. Have a great day and happy April Fool's. Bye-bye for now.